from the cure of corona shared by our enthusiastic relatives to the last minute exam notes whatsapp has been the site for all i mean it's the most used application on my phone what's there not to like you have video calls phone calls messages status and what else um scams yep you heard that right want to know more well lucky you because we are discussing the same in this video in this video we will talk about whatsapp scams you all need to be aware of WhatsApp is like the safe family friendly space that is used by a majority of the Indian population that owns a smartphone. But this safe space has become vulnerable to cyber crimes. Cyber criminals are now exploring the ability to send functional external links on WhatsApp to lure victims into giving out their personal and even bank account details. A new WhatsApp scam called Redroff or redroff.ru has come to light. that tricks the victims by sending them out a link on the meta own platform according to a report by cnbc scammers send a link to whatsapp users claiming that users can well win a reward by filling a simple survey if only it was that easy my friend after a user responds to the question they are redirected to a website where they are asked to fill out sensitive information the website collects this information of users like their ip address name of the device and other personal details like name age address etc these details can be misused to make fraudulent transactions or other illegal activities impersonation fraud is another common occurrence and i know a lot of friends who have faced the scam This is where the scammers use WhatsApp to impersonate family members or friends in difficulty and in particular need of money. This type of scam has evolved from fraudsters impersonating a bank, police or company. It starts with a message from an unknown number claiming to be a loved one who has just lost their phone and got a replacement. It gives them a reason for having a different number and means that they can use a generic term like mom, dad, sis or even bro. The story they tell varies but centers on the claim that because they have a new phone they don't have access to their internet or mobile banking app and therefore need urgent help to pay a bill. Any attempts to call to verify their identity is often fobbed off with talk that there is a problem with the microphone. Another one is the OTP or the six digit scam. If you receive a text message with a six digit WhatsApp code that you were not expecting, you may be a target of the scam. It's the kind of code you would need if you were setting up a new account or logging into your existing account on a new device. If you have not initiated this request, you should see this message as a red flag. It could be a fraudster trying to log into your account. In the next step of the scam, you receive a WhatsApp message from a friend asking for the six-digit code. Horrible truth. It appears to come from a genuine friend because your account has already been hijacked. If you don't spot it is a scam, you will end up sending the access code of your own account to the scammer. The hijacker can go on to messaging your friends, family and contacts and pretending to be you. They can access your group chats where they can see private information. They can try the six digit code trick with new victims and they may even pretend that you're having a crisis and asking your contacts for money. Another cyber crime upsurging the platform is a typical case of online extortion which can be termed as cyber extortion. WhatsApp has been in controversy for quite some time now due to its implementation of the much talked about privacy policy which has raised eyebrows of many and it has become a debate in the public discourse. However, the Facebook owned platform has become a den for cyber criminals as many users have reported that they are receiving video calls on WhatsApp from unknown numbers. And after the user receives the call, the screen shows a video of a nude girl, and then it gets suddenly disconnected. These conmen further send screenshots of the video along with text and ask for money in return. According to a report in Medium, if a user, after knowing that they don't recognize the phone number, deletes it, then also they are not spared. The next step of these scamsters includes sending the screen recording of the video call on WhatsApp. to another unknown number and blackmailing the victim by saying that they already possess the number of the relatives and family members and they will send it if they don't receive the asked amount they also threaten to upload it on internet and make it viral besides that they ask for a lump sum amount from the victim which puts them in financial distress 
Innocent people and also those who are less tech savvy face the brunt of these malicious people and their money is being looted. So what's the escape? Is there even one? How to save yourself 101 from these cyber criminals and a truckload of inconvenience and mental distress? Well, it's not that difficult. In order to avoid such scamsters from taking advantage of you, it is of utmost importance to stop befriending any unknown person via WhatsApp or taking calls from any unknown numbers. Even if you take a video call, it is advisable to cover your face with a cloth or if you are exposed, just report the entire incident to the police without thinking twice. Ignorance is bliss and here, quite literally. If you can't verify the source of the message received, refrain from clicking on the link no matter how tempting it looks. Block or report the number you got the message from. Installing a mobile security solution, antivirus for smartphones can also be a good investment since it saves you from threat even when you are installing third-party software, surfing on the internet or downloading a file. Some of these messages even use bad grammar, improper sentence formations which is clearly a red flag. However, it will not be the case always as scammers may disguise themselves as employees of big companies. Never hand over your security codes, a password or a PIN to anyone, not even friends or family. Beware of messages asking for money. Call your friends or family to check if in any doubt. If you can't speak to them, ask them something personal like what's their middle name or what do they call their dog. Finally, report and block. Remember, it is best to report and block these numbers instead of clicking on the link even out of curiosity and falling into the clutches of dilemma and cyber criminals. But you know what's a safe space to let your curiosity flow? Well, any guesses? Yep, it's the Wolf of Vogue's family and you can click that subscribe button without any fear of getting scammed. So you know the drill. Subscribe to our channel, become a part of our Wolf of Vogue's family, get on the knowledge train and help us grow. Comment down your views, share our videos with fellow enthusiasts. And until we meet next, stay curious, stay awesome. Wolf of Vogue's signing off.